What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Those Nights of Warriors 3 Infinite Cycle, where we'll be taking on part one of the custom night in the garage. And for this room, we're dealing with Wario, Ashley, and Bowser, and I will set them to their levels, which I will set them on, let me think. Um, I'll which I'm going to set them all on level 7 since they're kind of our hard levels from 8 or 9. I'm trying to think. Okay, I'll set Wario on level 7, Ashley on level 8, and then Bowser on level 9. So without further ado, we'll take on part 1 of the custom night mode in the garage and see what it has to offer for us. Oh wow, that's actually a, that That garage definitely looks realistic because that's how someone's garage typically looks like. Okay, we have tools over here that we can click on. We have a door to fix. Uh. Hey, Lance, Parkies, day huh? number three, huh? You're doing an amazing job so far. So, which room did you hide in tonight? The garage? Okay, this might be a bit tricky. Remember what I said about blue lines on the map? You'll see that there's a giant one behind you on the map. That would be the garage door. There's also the door on your left and a door in the corner ahead of you. I imagine by now the spirits are catching on to your presence more, so I feel they might be a bit more active tonight. Okay, listen up. If there's more spirits, you're going to have to do more work. The door on your left has, well, a door, but this door has a lock that's a bit more complex than just a dial, right? Alright, good. Keep the door locked, although I hear a spirit banging on that door trying to get in will damage the lock. If this happens, you'll have to use those tools in the garage to repair and maintenance the lock so they don't bust down the door when they come back. But as for the door ahead of you, well, there is no door, it just leads into the basement. If you're lucky, a shy spirit may be coming from there, so if you stare at them on the cameras, they may be hesitant to keep coming for you and head back a bit. But if they get through that door, I don't think you'll be able to defend yourself. Now, for behind you, did you park your car in the driveway outside the garage? Yes, yeah, right there. Oh, good. So now you'll have to use your car keys. Use the front porch camera to see if anyone comes close to the garage door. If they do get close, you'll have to use your keys to set up your car horn to scare them off. Watch out, though. Using your car keys randomly might make that spirit move faster to find the source of the noise. You'll have to focus and multitask tonight. But I know you can do it. Good luck, man. Okay, so whoever leaves the front porch camera going to the gr and goes to the garage, we have to use the car keys to scare them off. And then we have to we have to check we have to we have to stare at the basement camera to see whoever comes and whoever's on the basement camera we have to stare at, and they will leave. And then we have tools right here to fix the garage door for whoever bangs on it. Yeah, those are the those are the car keys right there. And there's that yellow bar right there, which I'm assuming it will go down for whoever bangs on the door. And we have to fix it before someone breaks it down and kills us. And I'm remembering to put down the camera to charge it because this is the same mechanic as Final Fantasy Warriors 3 and Trap Within and Switched in Times where we have to charge the camera. Okay, let's check for whoever's coming through the basement. Because the basement's the closest to the garage door, so I'm going to be checking that to see who comes through. Oh, there's Bowser. Oh, i got to use the car keys. Oh, I think Bowser's got to come in the garage in order for me to do it. Because the car keys didn't work on him.
Okay. I'm assuming Bowser will have to leave the camera. Then we can use the car keys to scare him off. Okay, so it worked. Okay, so if Bowser moves, then we have to use the car keys to scare him off. And I'm checking to see who comes in the basement. Oops, somebody's banging. Okay, so we gotta fix the garage. We gotta fix the door with the tools before somebody breaks it down. And I gotta multitask too, because I need to check for whoever's coming through the basement. Okay, I'm assuming Wario's the one banging on the door. Oh, I see Ashley. Okay, so if Ashley comes in the basement, we have to stare at her to make her leave. Okay. Okay, so for Ashley, we have to stare at her on the basement camera to make her leave. For Bowser, we have to use the car keys if he leaves the front porch camera to scare him off. And then for Wario, we have to fix the door. Or else he'll bust it down and kill me. So that's the mechanics. Oh, I see Bowser. He's coming close. And the basement door's already... Garage door's already fixed. Or Okay, Bowser hasn't left yet. Oh, Ashley, I gotta stare at. Okay, Ashley left. Good. Bowser's gonna leave soon, so I gotta use the car keys. Okay, listen. Alright, and we beat part one of the custom I mow in the garage. Perfect. Alright, let's see what room is next because I have enough time to do it in this video. Okay, so the next room we have to do is the bedroom, the first bedroom. And for this room, we're dealing with Waluigi, Toad, and Bowser. And I'll set them to level 7, 8, and 9 like I did in the first mode. Be Waluigi on level 7, Toad on level 8, Bowser's gonna be on level 9 again. So, without further ado, we'll take on part 1 of this video in the first bedroom as well and see what it's offer for us. Okay, this is the bedroom. <phone rings> Press to play? What's that do? Right click for flashlight. To make a noise. If you see a large aggressive spirit, I can't help but assume that it will come into There's your room. There's a closet we can go in? Oh wow. So you'll have to consistently use the audio on this spirit to scare them away from your room. A normal spirit may not be affected by the sound though and will affect the door of the bedroom. If this happens, I say run into the closet next to the bed and hide there until they leave. Okay, got it. Now for the closet, I can't help but think that it might not be very safe in there. Much juice left in it. This is a lot to handle, but I believe you can handle it. 
Okay, so we have to play an audio sound on the camera to s scare them off, and whoever comes in, we have to hide in the closet. And whoever's in the closet, well, I think we gotta leave. Okay, so I gotta see who's on the camera so I can use that sound cue to scare him off. Oh, I heard Bowser's movements. Okay, so I guess I gotta keep playing this audio cue to get him away from me. Okay, I see Bowser, so I think I gotta play that um, sound for him or something, or somebody, I don't know. There's somebody we gotta do it for, the, the audio cue thing. Huh, I don't know who it is. And then we got Toad and Waluigi we're dealing with two this night. Yeah, Bowser's in the garage. I think it's affecting him or something. I don't know who it's affecting. Up, oh, Waluigi. Okay, so for Waluigi, we have to hide in the, um... Okay... Okay, so for Waluigi, we need to hide in the closet. And then for Bowser, we have to keep using that sound cue thing. Okay, I figured it out. This is a little bit confusing. Okay. This room is definitely confusing to hide in. I'll listen to the phone call again just to make sure. I trapped Bowser Hey, right? hey, Link, the day number three, I see, huh? Alright, which room did you hide in? The small bedroom? Oh, God. There isn't much in there for you to defend yourself with. Wait, 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 okay, okay. If I remember correctly, this room has packs of some speaker spread throughout the house. figured it out so for Toad we have to use the flashlight to to ward him off. For Waluigi we gotta hide in the closet and then for Bowser we have to use the um this audio cue thing. Cause that will affect him. It will not affect Waluigi since he's gonna be the one coming in the room. So you just gotta keep using it.
There, so we just gotta keep using it and we should be good. Cause I already got jump scared by Waluigi in this in this room first time I tried doing this. Okay, I saw Waluigi on the camera. The noise won't affect him, it's only gonna affect Bowser. So I gotta use it for Bowser pretty off as often as I can. And then check for Waluigi, because he'll come in the room. And then use the flashlight for Toad. Okay, Bowser's in the basement. I saw him. So I gotta keep using that sound cue thing. And then check for Waluigi, too, which I'm doing. Because he got a multitask. Waluigi. And I gotta ward off Toe with a flashlight. How do I know when Waluigi leaves? How do I know that? God, I'm trying to figure out how I should know when Waluigi leaves, because I can't tell. Yeah, this room is definitely tricky to hide in. I know. Okay, I assume I gotta stay in the closet until Waluigi leaves, because... Let me think. Okay, I already got killed by Waluigi twice this night, because I'm confused as to how to deal with him. I'm assuming for Waluigi, we just have to stay in the closet until he leaves. Hmm. Okay. I think there's, I believe there's a sound cue for when Waluigi leaves. I'm trying to figure that out because I haven't heard it. Or Bowser, so I gotta press that audio cue sound. Okay, I'm using that as often as I can.
locked yet. I don't know where Bowser moved to, but I gotta look for him. Okay, the laundry room. That's where he's in. Okay, he's in the laundry room. Okay, got him. And I have no idea how long I gotta stay in the closet for for Waluigi. It's not a good idea to stay in there long term. Okay, I'm trying to find Bowser. I don't know where he is. Oh, here's Waluigi. Okay, we gotta scare off Toad. We got rid of him. And I gotta figure out when to leave for Waluigi. Did Waluigi just leave or something? I can't tell if he left. Oh, he left now. Okay, good. Alright, good. Waluigi left, so that's good. Okay, so if I hear running, that means Waluigi will leave. And I gotta keep using that sound cue for Bowser. To keep him away. Oh, since it affects him, not Waluigi. Okay, so I'm finally getting an understanding how to do the garage, because this is, I mean, the sec the first bedroom, because this is definitely tricky. It's definitely, tr it's definitely tricky to hide in, just like the garage. Yeah, it's, it's just as tricky as the garage was. Oops, yeah, ignore these pop-ups, I don't know why they're popping up. Okay, I apologize for what just happened. I don't know why that flash player thing just appeared, but I apologize for that. Okay, let me go check on Bowser. Okay, he's in the laundry room. And we just beat part part one of the custom night mode in the first bedroom as well in this video, so that's a good thing. Alright, so... Let me see. Okay. Okay, so we will take on part two of the customized mode in the attic in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of all upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.